So I'm doing a Bible study group. I have a question for that. So, in Genesis, you know how God created Adam and Eve? The creation story, yes, I... Right. Well, what I want to know is, what part of Adam did God create first? Because I have a theory. I think I know what part of God created first. I think it was the brain. You want me to find a source which confirms that God created Adam's brain first? That's question one. Okay. And question two? Okay, so, my theory is, since God created the brain first, the second thing God created on Adam was his nipples. Yeah, brain. Then, maybe the third, well, maybe the third thing. Brain first, heart second, then nipples. So your question is, in what order did God create Adam's parts? My question is this. Why did God put nipples on a man? I don't think that's covered in the gospel, but let's see what I can find. Are you looking for religious theories or scientific theories or a combination of... You want to know my theory? Well, I... sure. If God created Adam... He needed a way to talk to him, right? So, you know what I think those nipples are? <laughs> antenna! Male nipples are antenna? God put nipples on men, because he needed a way to talk to, with Adam. They are antenna for communicating. Eh? What you think? Well, I... I need to know about human anatomy, too. I don't know much about it, so I want to know what a man's nipples is. Well, let me show you a few resources which might help on those questions. You know, none of these really give me what I want. You know what I'm going to have to do? Well, I can keep looking and then I can... I'm just going to have to die and ask God in person, why did you put nipples on a man? Huh. Well, if you do, make sure you have a way to come back so you can let us know the answer, okay? <laughs> That's why I'm telling you now! Right. Thanks for your help. Are you... are you there, God? It's me, Adam. I know you're probably still mad about the whole fruit tree thing, but... We need to talk about Cain and Abel.